this is how a Girardi vise is supposed to work with the spring on the movable jaw. Close. Unlock. Close. And if we grab the parallel, it's already pulled down. You can't pull the parallel out. Unlock. Parallel is free. Lock. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Girardi vise today. This is the vise we're using in class. How do we get it to lock? With a six mil wrench in here. Put it up against, the ball comes down, you're locked into position. Now you can turn this and the vise is locked. Let's say I wanted to indicate the vise. Don't indicate just the jaw, put a parallel in. So let's close this up. Find the sweet spot where the ball fits in. Tighten the vise up and then indicate here to line your vise up. Now the reason why we're indicating the parallel instead of the solid jaw is because both of these jaws can move. Watch this corner. Okay. So now let's take a more in-depth look at each of the pieces. As we pull this out, it has a T where it rides in, and this here also goes in first, then up. So we put this piece in, then slide this in, slide this in, up, up, and then we slide that in. Now if we take a look here, how this works, there's a ball bearing here that won't come out. We turn this six mil wrench down and it forces the ball bearing down into one of these slots. That's basically how this piece works. Now this is a little bit more complicated. I'm only going to take one side apart. This is the exact same as this. It's hard to see. There are springs here and here, and that's what makes this pop up and down. So six mil, again, unscrew. And you have two springs, two die springs, that sit right on the bottom in pockets here and here which force this up so when you release pressure so that it allows this to move now you want to make sure that this is clean because if there's contaminants in the bottom and this is moving up and down it is possible that this stays up and this one goes down, which will actually throw you off on the movable side, okay? So we wanna be careful with that. So to reassemble, put the springs in, fold down, then you need to compress a small amount, put your six mil bolts back in, line up, back together if you want to set the vise to zero meaning you don't have any spring in your jaws what you want to do is tighten the vise in a clean state where it's clean, tighten, and then tighten the six mils. You don't need a wrench or anything on them, just finger tight, a good finger tight will work just fine. 
then when you release the vise, it's pushed down to the bottom. Why would I want this to be able to go up and down? Because when I'm holding a block on parallels, when this moves, it'll actually pull the workpiece down and then you don't have to hammer on it. This is my Girardi Vice video.